Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10.1 Beta 2 to developers. This should be coming out to public beta testers soon, and it might be by the time you're watching this video. But this came in at 171.9 megabytes for the developer beta, and let's take a look at the version number. The version is 14B67, and this is kind of a needed update, a little bit of tweaks here and there. And one of the things it retains the big feature update from 10.1, which was in the previous video or previous beta also, I showed you was this portrait mode. And this is specific to the iPhone 7 Plus. You have to have the 7 Plus with the dual camera in order to get this depth of field portrait effect. And it's really nice and works really well, but is specific to this particular phone. So this update brings some bug fixes in the background. Apple didn't really say much about that, but they did add a couple really nice features. One of those has to do with the motion effects. So a lot of you ask me, why won't motion effects and things work within messages when I'm trying to send something? You'd push on the button and say, hello, you'd push this and you would not get this effect. And that usually had to do with having reduced motion on. So if you go into settings, you go to accessibility under general, and then you go to reduce motion. This had to be off in order for that to work. They've actually fixed this in this version. So if you turn this on, you now have the option to autoplay message effects. So if I double tap here, go back to messages and push here, I can still do the exact same thing. So I can send this just like I would before. So it's really nice. That's turned on finally. And let's go back and turn that off. And that's actually added into this version. So it's really nice that they added that. That should have been there to begin with, really. But they've added this, and it's all set for those of you that weren't able to get this to work. The other thing they've done is actually give you the option to replay effects that people have sent you. So if you send an effect, you can't replay it. But if people send you an effect, you've now got this little replay button down here. So you just hit it, and it replays the effect. They've also tweaked the little dock down here with the app store for your sticker packs. So you'll see there's a little bar here, slider bar, and they've just cleaned it up a little bit. So overall, it looks really nice. It looked fine before, but they've cleaned it up even more and just tweaked the UI a little bit. Aside from that, there really aren't any changes that we can see directly. Hopefully this fixes some of the bug issues people were having with Wi-Fi connectivity. I know I've had all sorts of issues as far as speed goes. I often find myself disconnecting and reconnecting, and I thought it was my router, but it's really not. It actually has to do with something in iOS 10.1, and I've even heard complaints in iOS 10, so I'm not sure if it's just me as far as this goes, but I've had this really be slow for me when I'm trying to connect to something. I disconnect, it's fine on LTE, and then I reconnect and it's fine on my Wi-Fi. So I don't know if you've had that issue. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, the iPhone 7 Plus has been great for me. A review will be coming very shortly. I really wanted to use it for a couple of weeks before I gave you my opinion on it and what's good and what's bad about it. So look for that video. If you've found anything I haven't mentioned, please let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, already please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time